Hey everybody from sunny Arizona. I am enjoying the outdoors today. So I have some good stuff for today though. Does your daughter have unshakable confidence? And I recently listened to a class by Jen Schroeder. Uh, she's a former UCLA softball player and she um, is the owner of the package deal, um, has done just incredible things in the softball community. Um, definitely one of a, a person, a woman that I look up to tremendously. Um, and she had this class all about how to have the unshakable confidence. And she shared an amazing testimonial, just like hit home for me. Um, and it was so good. So what I wanted to talk about was how the heck do you have unshakable confidence? How do you have confidence in general? Um, it's like the big question, right? Um, but just listening to Jen's class, it made me think about my own journey um, to my unshakable confidence. And, you know, trust me, there are days that I do not feel confident, but I know that I can get back up on my feet and continue on and and move with purpose and passion and confidence. But growing up playing softball, I can tell you that my confidence was far from unshakable. It was actually very shaky. <laughs> uh, it was breakable, it was unstable, it was weak, and I was barely holding it together through the recruiting process. Once you know the eyes were on me, once the coaches were watching, the pressure was on, my dreams were on the line. You guys, my, my, one of my biggest goals and dreams was to play college softball at a high level, like competitive team on a big stage. You know the drill, okay? And I did not hit like I knew I could during this process. So I was, you know, junior, sophomore, junior, senior. I was not hitting like I knew I could. I was not coming in clutch as much as I wanted to. I was striking out more than I ever wanted to. And I just felt like a failure more times than I felt success. And it's crazy because you look back at it now and I was doing great. I was doing just fine and it's just, it's funny to look back at it now because, I mean, it got me to where I am. But deep down inside, I always felt like I had more. I always wanted more. I wanted to get more hits. I wanted to be more clutch. I wanted to be valuable to my team. And I wanted to feel successful. And for some reason, I didn't. Um, my biggest fear kept coming up. My big during this time, my biggest fear kept coming up, and that was that I would not play softball for a big competitive school, and that did not feel good a lot. Um, by the grace of God, <laughs> in my eyes, uh, Kate Drohan, the head coach at Northwestern University, she found a need for me. Um, she found a place for me on their team. She wanted me to come to Northwestern and play softball wearing purple. And to this day, I, I really believe it's because of the person that I am, not just my softball skills and my softball skills as a player. Um, we'll have to ask Kate that sometime. <laughs> um, so my dreams came true. I was going to be a wildcat. I was going to wear purple. I was going to play on a, a big stage in a, in a big conference in the Big Ten. Um, and something that I will always remember is Kate and Carol constantly told me and reminded me that during my time at Northwestern that I had this compass. I had this like inner compass and I had this compass that I needed to follow and continue to follow and I should have listened a little harder because it makes even more sense now today that I always had this compass to follow. So, um, but back to college, I continued to stumble my way through college ball. <laughs> okay, I was the starting catcher as a from my freshman year, like freshman year, I was the starting catcher. I won the starting spot, which is super awesome. Like so exciting, like best, like one of the best accomplishments of my life, I feel like. But it wasn't enough for me, of course, right? Not enough. So I, you know, I was hitting at the bottom of the lineup 
and I barely ever made it through my first at bat because I would get pulled due to no performance or not getting the not hitting the ball and that was so frustrating so being the starting catcher just wasn't enough I wanted to be an amazing hitter too and it, that hurt like dagger to the heart like hurt deep down so fast forward a little bit uh it took me 11 plus years 11 plus years to figure out this unshakable confidence thing all right confidence comes from who you want to be and that was a big point in what jen was teaching confidence comes from who you want to be who you decide to be no matter what the results are no matter what the outcomes are you keep showing up who, as the person that you want to be, the person that you're choosing to be every single day. That is how confidence is created. That's how confidence is built. And the rest will fall into place because of the person you're choosing to be. Only if you remember that and only if you remember to be consistent with the person that you want to be. Um, and you're probably like, okay, Paige, that's great. I need more help than that. I I need like tangible things like draw me a map. How do I get there? Give me your compass. Okay, so you're in luck because I have a program that I have created solely for this reason because I learned uh, it's it's a program created to learn how to have this this unshakable confidence and it's called the confident athlete. And this is the program that I wish I would have had when I was 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 years old. And guess what, you guys? I'm still working on confidence. I'm still working on my mindset constantly. I have my own coach and mentor. So to the girls, to my girl athletes, to the girl athletes, I will guide you to figure out who you want to be. You have to choose, but I will guide you. I will teach you the mental skills to practice consistently because consistency is key, and I will help keep you accountable. I will, I will keep you on track. I always say, I wish I could do the work for you, but I can't do the work for you. I can give you, I can give you all of that, but you have to take steps forward with me. So if you're thinking, holy smokes, I need this, <laughs> because I know I did when I was younger, um, and I still to this day have my own coach and mentor working on these things just at a different level, then you need to apply today because it starts in less than two weeks, okay? Less than two weeks. So click that link, apply now. It's on my website, pagetrons.com, if you can't find the link below. <laughs> and apply now because I cannot wait to help you have unshakable confidence.